this is the initial video, um, just kind of laying down the groundwork for your essay, and this is for $80,000 scholarship. You'll do a video as one of the options, and the other is an essay for a full ride for Liberty. But you basically say, um, your head and shoulders above the other kids, you have a four point grade point average, plus you have blank on your SAT. So your SAT score, PSAT score, plus your grade point average. And you can say, look, we sold everything to serve the Lord. Talk a little bit about that. Even laying your most precious things and animals down. You let family and friends uh, to serve God. And your experience overseas, although really challenging, has stretched you and developed you into the leaders that you are today. And uh, the immersion into the Bible, where the Bible rubber meets the road, the uh, wisdom begins the fear of God and the love of God also penetrates your heart. Um, Proverbs 1, 6 and 7, and also John 3, 16. But those experiences have stretched you. Um, and what you've done overseas, although you left all your precious things and started with just a backpack, some rental furniture, and serpentine wire, and bars on the fence as you walk to language school, mission school, uh, 2013, you know, when you were age playing, um, just to completely serve God. And before you left, by the way, a pastor was talking. He's like, hey, are you missionary kids? You said no. He brought the microphone over to you in front of 3,000 people, and God put on your heart. You're not just going as a missionary kid. And the Lord put on your heart that you surrendered all. When you surrendered all, you decided you were a missionary, and you announced that in front of 3,000 people a month before we deployed. You were all in. With that, uh, you've been to four different countries, maybe five, count them up. You've uh, three different languages, including different dialects of Spanish, and French, and English, um, where you served. And uh, during that time, not only did you go to language school, uh, and you employed the Dominican Republic, where you ended up being a part of six church plans. You were a scribe. Andrew was the, led the evangelical station. You helped lead the uh, medical station. And um, we use that to plan and start six churches that are uh, thriving today. Um, you also uh, got to uh, be a part of a, a huge evangelical movement, professional baseball, you know, where uh, many players uh, that didn't make professional baseball, many that were pros got to come to Christ. Or you don't have to mention that. But, you know, during that time, we were really challenging conditions with electrical outlets. And, danger and having security at all time, having to be aware. We would be in the bush sometimes for a week doing opportunity medical. Sometimes you'd be in the mountains on a burrow for three days. And during those times where you led those teams and church plant missions, um, you come back and have to work double hard under at not great conditions to maintain your 4.0 uh, Liberty Online University grade point average. Um, also finding time to read and prepare uh, future testing and stuff like that. We don't have to say future testing, but just to maintain a great point average. Um, also, um, uh, not only did you uh, do the church planning, but you uh, also led worship service and developed your instrument skills, your gymnastics skills, where you, uh, you were able to compete internationally for your host country and get medals. Uh, in that gymnastics, then you became a, a, a leader of volleyball and got advanced rapidly in the volleyball. For your athleticism, you were chosen everywhere you've gone and been a part of. You've uh, been selected as a leader, just give examples of that. Maybe you go to camp next year and do that. Andrew can talk about, he became Mars commander at NASA, space camp. Uh, his leadership skills that God used to develop him uh, were proven when he went to regular camps with regular kids and was tested uh, one at NASA camp at a flight camp where both he was recommend, recognized as a leader, you know, Mars commander of the NASA camp and a leader and a top, top gun um, in his flight, you know, in his flight group, in his squadron. Um, then you also, by the way, huge, by the way, you also learn to build a business, put together business. And, and that includes uh, not only putting together a, a building at a clinic, renovating a post-Hurricane Maria space, including Wi-Fi, computer networks. Uh, you learn how to put a business network together, including employees, how to set up a business plan, 
as the tre as the secretary of two organizations, Go for Price Industries and also Global Peace Professional. And that included a medical plan and a business plan and an evangelical business plan uh, to lead revival and make disciples of Christ and deploy them with a business model. But all the, all the elements that go into making a business, you are part of the ground up permits, um, um, even how to set up the place. And, you know, you need like accounting, and you need um, credit card machines, and, you know, computer networks and Wi-Fi, setting up an x-ray system, setting up a medical system, setting up medical records, all that stuff you're a part of. Painting and organizing the clinic, your arts and craft skills were developed and you became a premier artist to, for the logos, uh, the professional teams we got to cover. You know? um, got, got to give testimony, ended up impacting um, in Puerto Rico, 1.5 million people. Okay. Gospel message. In um, Dominican Republic, along with six church plants, you had 150,000 people. We no. have 1,500 professional athletes come to Christ, and over 3,000 people come to Christ with our evangelical club. 1,500 professional players over 3,000 people come to Christ. And uh, we give only hundreds and hundreds of, hundreds of boxes of Bibles and medicines in the process. Um, that's why you feel like you should be, because you have learned what it is to completely surrender to God's will, seek God, your personal time, 30 minutes as in the Bible, an hour in the morning and the evening, your music, your friends, and scripture your whole life has been completely dedicated to Christ. Romans 12, 1 and 2, to understand the will of God. That's why you're the best candidate for this. Because you're a proven entity who's getting shredded on and proven yourself in these ways. Uh, not only whether my rubber meets the road in the field, and the Lord has allowed you to do this, and you practically know how to put the Bible to use, but you've also proven yourself academic and athletic. Thank you, Lord. Please let them get that scholarship money or whatever your will is. Give them a way to get through college, Lord. Whatever way you think is best. Jesus, we pray. Amen.